Oops, just waiting for another squall. And uh, it's just one, of the, one of the benefits of squally weather. Storm cloud, typical rain. That's east. And as we go round, you can just see the sunset. Just hold on a sec. There's the sunset. Can you see what's behind it? In front of it, rather. Another rather nasty storm cloud. Now, fortunately, the wind. I think. I hope. I really hope is blowing that uh, to your right as you look at it. Very, very heavy, full of rain. Uh, that's our autopilot, which works on a wind system, so that's set to be pointing at a particular angle to the wind. The problem is with squalls is when they hit, the winds get erratic, and it confuses our autopilot. so bad. It's fairly calm at the moment, which is uh, always something. Uh, we've seen waves only up to about three meters tops, so they're not that big. Uh, unfortunately, this is showing our wind at 60 degrees out. The wind is actually about there. Uh, speed over ground, 5.7, 5.8. Is the margin of error by nautical miles to our next waypoint. Um, but since our next waypoint is a thousand miles away, I don't think that really matters at the moment. BTW is bearing to waypoint. And then course over ground is the actual course that we're steering. So really our course over ground should be the same as our bearing to waypoint. And of course it fluctuates as the uh, autopilot does her job. Speed over ground is picking up because the wind's picking up. I really should put this camera away now and start concentrating on preparing for the schools. Bye.